Hi everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial where I'll be taking you through how I painted this Angels of Redemption Infiltrator for my Emperor's Finest Army. So over a Wraithbone undercoat I'm going to begin with some Skeleton Horde contrast. Now I did add a little bit of medium to this as well. I would say, actually I'd say probably around 50-50. So with the contrast paint now dry, I'm going to be moving on to Caliban Green. Now the reason I wanted to get the green half done before doing all of the bone half is because it'll make it that much easier if I do make some mistakes as uh, this colour scheme, uh, I wouldn't say was uh, the easiest colour scheme I've ever done, but certainly a very cool colour scheme. So the aim with the green is just to get the left half of the model all green. And I'm just gonna begin just as neatly as I can, just getting it as even as I can right down the center across the entire miniature. So as you can see, I have also painted all of the parts uh, that are going to be different colors, such as the pouches, the, the gun and everything else. Uh, just with a base coat of black, I didn't think it was necessary to include that part, but as you can clearly see, uh, all of those parts have been done. So now I'm gonna be moving on to the gun pouch for the bolt pistol. So just with a base coat of Rhinox Hide, just gonna cover that entirely. And with the Rhinox hide now done, I'm just gonna grab some of my Doom Bull Brown off my wet palette and begin edge highlighting it. And I'm also going to be doing some thin highlights across the pouch as well, just to bring out the detail. And for the final highlight, I'm going to use some Carrick Stone mixed with Doombull Brown. As you can see there on my palette, it's uh, approximately 50-50. Of course, if you want to, you can go up to Carrick Stone as a final highlight. But for this particular miniature, I just wanted to do about a 50-50 with Doombull Brown and Carrick Stone. And as I mentioned earlier, with all of the black parts, I did use black uh, by Vallejo, but of course any black would do just fine. And just to highlight all of the rubber parts and eventually the gun, but we'll get to that, I'm gonna use German gray and I've also mixed some white and German gray, approximately 
just to do a nice final highlight on all of those parts. So with those steps now done, I'm just going to begin working the recesses of the armor on the bone side of the model. The bone color, I should say. So just as neatly as you can. Of course, if you make a mistake, we haven't obviously yet highlighted any of the armor, so that's no problem. But just be as careful as you can anyway, it's uh, certainly good practice. And because the green is obviously much darker, I decided to use uh, some Vallejo black to darken the recesses on the green side of the model. Also just throwing in a little bit of the Rhinox hide there. And now just beginning to highlight the gun, just using some of the German gray and those colors that I mentioned before, just from the same pool. And as you can see, it's already coming together quite nicely. But now it's time to clean up some of that bone armor. So just using some Screaming Skull by Citadel, I'm gonna begin doing that. And this is, of course, as well, the first step to tidying up some of the color, especially around the center, just to straighten those lines out a little bit more. And with the Screaming Skull now done, I'm going to be using some Wraithbone by Citadel to highlight it. So leaving a touch of the Screaming Skull, but this isn't necessarily just an edge highlight. As you can see, I'm working up some of the center of the armor as well.
And now is just a final highlight for the bone side of the armor. I'm going to be using some Off-White by Vallejo. Now the three colors I've used, I've tested out quite a few different bone colors, but this combination is my favorite so far. So I'd highly recommend you give them a try if you haven't yet tried the three of them together. So with the bone armor now completed, I'm going to begin highlighting all of the green. So just with some Castellan green, as obviously we've already done the Caliban green. I'm just going to begin highlighting that. Now one thing I didn't do that I'd actually recommend uh, is to have some Caliban green there to correct anything if you aren't happy with it as the green for the color scheme is meant to be quite dark, but I wanted to go for that sort of camo green sort of color while still keeping with that darker theme. And for the next highlight, I'm going to be using some Lauren Forest. So for the most part, just following over the Castellan Green. And just as a final highlight for the green armor, I'm going to be using some Strachan Green. Now for what was definitely the most complicated part of this particular color scheme was the freehand skull. 
on the for the chapter symbol for the angels of redemption so the first thing i wanted to do was just to try my absolute best to get the outline correct for the skull and i'm just using vallejo white but of course again any any white will do just fine and as i've recommended in previous videos when painting something like this if you especially if you haven't painted it before is just to have an image up if you can in front of you of the chapter symbol or whatever it may be uh, it just helps that more to have uh, that much more I should say to have a reference so with the paint relatively watered down as well just really taking my time to get the outline correct So I was really happy with the shape, uh, the outline of the skull. And I should mention as well, this took me, uh, I would say about a day to, uh, a, a day's worth of uh, painting sessions to paint this. So I unfortunately wasn't able to include the entire symbol as I had to keep going back and forth to correct it for a long time. But I've included what I can. So the important part with this chapter symbol is just to make sure and that, well, that you do your absolute best to get the shape correct on both sides of the wings around the skull as it's definitely the hardest part. And as you can see, I've got my brush just in a really comfortable angle for this, just with barely anything on the brush as well. 
and the paint is relatively watered down, but keep in mind, of course, you can always go back and correct it. As I mentioned just before, I did uh, plenty of that whilst doing this particular chapter symbol. And at times you may be unhappy with it as I was, but the important thing is just to really take your time. Just keep going back and forth between the black and white and just making sure that it's as even as you can possibly get it across the shoulder pad. And as you can see uh, already, the nose isn't even in terms of it being dead center. But again, it's important just to get the outline correct first and then come back later and correct it all.
And a couple of things just to mention quickly, unfortunately I accidentally forgot to film the painting of the lenses, but I will leave a link in the description below of a previous Space Marine that I painted that does have the exact same method that I have for painting the lenses and the lenses on the, uh, I should say, both scope and helmet. And I'm also gonna do a separate tutorial for the golden arm that I do for my Emperor's Finest Army. But now, uh, just doing all of the metal parts, so I'm gonna be using my favorite metallics by scale 75, so just a base coat of black metal. And a first highlight of thrash metal. And just to finish it off, a touch of heavy metal. And just as some finishing touches, I'm going to be doing some battle damage. So just on the bone side, I'm uh, going to be using some Rhinox Hide and Screaming Skull, and on the green side, some German Grey and Lauren Forest to highlight it. And another thing I should mention as well is um, I will be doing a separate tutorial for the base as well, so my sort of like urban warfare style bases that I've got going for my Space Marine Army. And the main reason I wanted to do the golden arm and bases separately is just so that the videos could be a little bit shorter for you and so you could have more focus set on the specific chapter that I'm working on. And here are some photos of the completed miniature. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. This was probably the most fun I've had painting a Space Marine ch chapter so far. Very, very cool color scheme. So thank you so much for watching today and I will see you in the next one.